Man. Ugh. Dude, I am starving right now. I could eat like five filet of fish and a McRib right about now. I mean, yeah, I guess I could eat too. Oh, sweet, can you drive? Dude, seriously, I always drive. Plus, you're the one that wants the food so bad. Please, dude, please. I'll pay for your food or your gas. No, dude, no. All right, I'm sick and tired of always driving. Anytime you want to do anything, I'm the one that has to drive, and I'm done. All right, no more driving. You drive. I can't. What do you mean you can't? You have a license. I've seen you drive before. It's because of the blood feud with the road goblins. <laughs> road goblins? What the hell does that mean? Road goblins, dude! The little guys that live under the road look like this? <laughs> they control the stoplights! They, they control it with their little goblin powers! So let me get this straight. You're telling me that there are goblins under the road that determine whether or not a light is yellow, red, or green? Yes! <laughs> Dude, what are you on? You don't believe me? Really? Goblins don't exist. That's like a simple known fact. Yes, they do. There are goblins under the road, dwarves in the national parks, shapeshifters in Congress. What, what exactly do goblins and driving have to do with one another? My family has had a blood feud with the goblins for years. Every single time I go out on the road, the goblins change the lights red. Every single time. Oh, oh, you're crazy. <sighs> you don't understand what it's like to be late to everything. You don't know what it's like to constantly be stopped at red light because of the road goblins. It's a curse. I was late to my sister's funeral. I, I was stopped at so many red lights because of the road goblins. And I was an hour and a half late. And that doesn't look too good for the prime suspect of my sister's murder. You and all the other green lighters like you never understand what it's like. Go ahead, mock me. I'm an easy target. But I'll be damned if I let those road goblins keep me from living my life to the fullest. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I don't think I fully understood just how hard this was. I just want you to know, um, I know I haven't always been the best friend and everything, but you know that if you ever need anything at all, I'm here, me and my car. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> so, does that mean you'll drive us to McDonald's? <laughs>